Have you ever had an idea pop into your head of something you really want to do? Could be on the professional level, maybe it's an opportunity at work you want to get involved with, maybe it's asking for a promotion or going after a new job. If it's your own business, maybe there's a new marketing technique or, or idea you want to try. Could be something in your personal life. Maybe there's a vacation you want to go on or maybe you want to take, you know, get a, bring in a new puppy or a cat or something into your life. Could be all different things. And when you first start thinking about it, it's so exciting, right? It's like you, you like can visualize yourself with that new job title or making that additional money or going on that vacation to somewhere you've always wanted to go to. It sounds wonderful. And then all of a sudden something happens. And it's like somebody burst your bubble. What happened? Well, you burst your bubble. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's training because the freak out zone is something that will stop you every single time from moving forward into success. So hey there everybody, I'm Kate Beaters, your breakthrough success expert, and I'm so excited to talk to you about the freak out zone because it's such an important topic. In fact, it's included very heavily in my last book, Go or Don't Go, I talk about it. Because the freak out zone is something that, that will happen to each and every one of us if we take that, that leap that we want to move to that next level in our, in our life, um, personally and professionally, to have more success and happiness. And because it's we're getting out of our comfort zone. It's natural, it's common, that fears are going to pop up because we're doing something different. Things like, you know, should I do it? What if I fail? All those big things pop up. And if we get really clever, then we invite our friends to also start giving us reasons of why we shouldn't do it. You know, they'll be like, yeah, don't do it. I tried and it didn't work. Or that's not the right thing for you. Or you won't like it. Or you've tried before. Or, you know, all those kinds of things. So we rationalize why it won't work or why we shouldn't do it at that time. And we stop ourselves. And that's a big mistake because that's what keeps you stuck where you are. And then you sit there and wonder why you don't have more in your life. I want to share a really great story of something that happened to me early on in my business because it really demonstrates what the freak out zone can do and how it can help you move forward once you get through it. I was invited to host a radio show and this was early on in my career. This was before podcasts were popular and it was at a real radio station with a producer and there's a microphone and the producer would point at me when the mic would go red, meaning we're live. And when we go out to commercial, he'd let me know. Very, very cool opportunity. And I was super, super excited because I was like, wow, this will really help me get my business out there. You know, I have a very solid marketing background from my years in corporate. And I was like, this is a great thing to do. I said, yep, sign me up. I'm in, right? I was all excited. And pretty much right after I said yes, <laughs> within a, a very short time, all the fears and doubts start popping up. Like, who am I to think I can do this? Um, I've never spoken in public before. I'm a big, you know, I'm a bit of an introvert. Um, where will I get guests from? Who will listen? What will I talk about? All these things. And I start to proceed to talk myself out of it, thinking even how can I even get out of this thing, right? All those thoughts were popping up. And thank goodness I hired experts to help me through it because otherwise I don't know where my business would be today because here's what developed as a result of me doing this. Things like, from having my own radio show, I was invited to be on other popular radio shows. I was invited to be a feature presenter on big telesummits, some as many as half a million people listening. Things like the Tapping World Summit I was on several years. Um, also, I was invited to speak at events, and that led to keynoting at events, to hosting my own events, to hosting international retreats, to best-selling books. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Things I didn't know would happen as a result of me taking this one next step. All the things that you're starting to do now, whether it's, um, you know, get invited to participate in a new opportunity at work or ask for a promotion or a new job or take on something new in your business or something in your personal life, whatever it might be, you have no idea where that's going to lead to. So you don't want it to stop you because you'll stay stuck. So whenever I would tell my clients about the freak out zone and they would get that it's a normal part of the whole process of up leveling, it was kind of like a sigh of relief, like, whew, now I get it. And the next step was, of course, helping them through it. So I want to help you be able to understand what's going on and how to start to move through it because that's what's going to really help you up-level your success. I have lots of tools and techniques of how I help my clients do this. And one of my most favorite ways, of course, is through tapping. If you have never used this powerful mindset technique before or tap with me before, I highly recommend you go to katebeaters.com forward slash tapping. A lot of information about the technique, its history, what it can help, all sorts of good stuff there. And so tapping is a lot like Simon says. You're going to use your fingertips and tap on your, your face and your upper body where I'm tapping, and you're going to repeat the phrases that I give you. It's a very gentle technique. However, if for some reason you don't like it, be responsible for your own well-being and simply stop tapping. So think about an opportunity, something that you want to step into, something new that's going to get you a bit out of your comfort zone. 
All right, and just think about that, how it makes you feel. And now you're gonna do a nice deep breath. Inhale through your nose. Hold it for a few seconds and then let it out again through your nose. Okay, and you're gonna tap along with me. Again, um, like Simon says, tap where I tap and repeat after me, okay? And if you wear glasses, take them off so they um, doesn't interfere with hitting the points on your face. So first we're gonna do is starting your karate chop to the side of the hand. Even though I'm afraid of taking this action, I wanna find a way to love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid to do this thing, I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid to do this thing, it might not work out, I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Okay, shake your hands out. We're going to go to the points on the face. Okay, and then we'll move to the points in the body, okay? We're going to say the same thing on the first few points. This fear. This fear. This fear. This fear. This fear. What if it doesn't work out? What if I fail miserably? What if I look really stupid? What if everyone laughs at me? Or it takes too long? Or it doesn't work out the way I wanted it to? All this fear. I'm afraid of that. I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. I hate to fail. But what if it works out? Okay, deep breath everybody. Inhale through your nose again. Let it out again. And how'd that feel? You feel like you kind of shook off some of the dust, right? Some of the, the cobwebs, some of those fears and doubts that are in your head that either you came up with or your friends or family planted in your head. And if you had some new fears and doubts pop up, that's awesome. Write those down. Those are just things we need to work on. We're just starting the process. And it's so important to realize you have to go through the freak out zone if you want that next level of success, either personally or professionally. Because otherwise you go running back to where you are and you stay stuck. If I can help you, which I would love to be able to help you break through that next level and help you through your freak out zone, please reach out to my team, info at kapebeaters.com. That's info at kapebeaters.com. We can talk about coaching. It's not just about talking yourself out of one little activity. That one little activity can lead to so much more. It just keeps growing and growing and expands. And then before you know it, even more amazing things, things that you never even knew could possibly happen, are happening in your life. And that's what I want for you. So until we meet again, be brilliant.